Good Friday morning, everyone. State softball is alive and well in Hastings this week, despite yesterday's tornado warning on top of rain and wind. Sports director Darren Winberg has some of the highlights from yesterday's games at the Smith Softball Complex. Good evening, Nebraska. Darren Winberg here from the Smith Complex in Hastings, Nebraska, for day two of state softball. Inclement weather and weather delays tried to derail today's games, but the only thing that could slow down that would be great pitching and timely hitting. Area schools all lost at least once yesterday, so that means today it's survive in advance. To a wet and windy weather play-in game, let's start with St. Cecilia as the Hawkettes already leading 3-0 looking for more. Two on, two out for Brooke Bolke, singling through the left side to score two more runs. Same score now. Check out the wheels by Emery Vargas. She slides into home to make it 6-0 Hawkettes. As that score would be more than enough as they would survive in advance, cruising to a 13-1 win. The other Class C team as Central City was taking on Gothenburg, who won against Aquinas earlier in the day. Bison already up 3-0, looking for more. Celeste Moser adds another RBI to her resume, driving in Emma Stanky from second. After an intentional walk, they could face Kaylee Bosch. Bosch makes them pay. She singles left, driving in two runs to score, as the Bison would eliminate the Swedes by a score of 7-2. Lastly, let's head to Class B Northwest, taking on Waverly. Pick it up in the fourth, all knotted up at three. Bases juiced for the Viking shortstop who can't make the throw to third, and that would play it in one run. Next up, it's Alexis Shepard. Singles this one up the middle to score two more runs as Waverly led six to three after three. But the Vikings put up crooked numbers in the next two innings and would lead this one 11 to nine, bottom of seven, two outs. Two on, and Kylie Casperson would get the final out as they would survive in advance to take on Hastings with an 11-9 win. On to the old adage, does rest help or momentum? Well, early on, it was all rest as Hastings third baseman Emma Landgren making an amazing snag at the hot corner as she gets the unassisted double play to end the inning. Bottom of first, and the hero from yesterday, Mackenzie Nolet, singles up the middle after a stolen base grounds out as she winds up at third and then the junior on the squeeze play has her PF flyers on as she slides into home to give up the first run of the game but Northwest is raking all day as Ju Jolie O'Hara smacks this one into left field fence races around to third for the stand up triple Hastings looking to get out of the inning though unscathed, but Becca Dinkelman has other plans as she drives in the first run of the game with the left field single. And the baton is passed as Kyra Ray goes shopping at the gap and drives in two runs as Northwest wins it and advances to take on undefeated Elkhorn North. And for more on state softball, head to our website, Nebraska.tv. And reporting from a windy and wet Smith Complex in Hastings, Nebraska, Darren Winberg, NTV Sports. Now let's check out the semifinal games for our area, and starting with Class C St. Cecilia. They were eliminated yesterday, running into the juggernaut known as Bishop Newman, falling 12 to 1. Central City fought back up. Uh, but came up short to Ashland Greenwood falling 17 to 13 as the top two seeds in Class A were eliminated. Class B's Grand Island Northwest stormed back to score five runs in the top of the seventh to take a 15 to 6 lead. And they faced the Wolves in a winner take all game later today with a trip to the title game on Monday in Omaha.